Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Physics 30, Chapter 1, Momentum, Lesson 3, Part 5, I believe. It's a ballistic example question. No, sorry. Fourth type of one-dimensional collision I want to talk about is a ballistic pendulum. Now, this is example 7. Bailey shoots a 7.5 gram bullet striking a 92.70 kilogram ballistic pendulum causing it to swing up 58.41 centimeters. What is the recoil velocity of the gun after firing? Now, I want to say that this is actually beyond the curriculum of Physics 30 because it includes momentum and energy and you will not see this on the diploma exam. However, you will see it on the momentum test because it is an excellent question. So, here we go. We're shooting a gun. We've talked about this recoil stuff before. So what's the recoil velocity of the gun after firing? Oh, I apologize. There was a typo in the notes. You might get a question. That your question might be, what is the velocity of the bullet? No, I want the recoil velocity of the gun. So, before, velocity initial of everything is zero. So the momentum initial is zero. After we fire it, we have the momentum of the bullet, and we have the momentum of the gun. Now this looks a whole lot like the last question, except I haven't given you the velocity of the bullet. What have I given you? It's striking a ballistic pendulum. So, if we look at this, split it here as an energy question, what have we got here? Well, here we have energy total, which is energy kinetic, plus energy potential. Now, energy potential is mgh. How high is the pendulum? How high is the bullet? Well, they're both as low as they go. So all we have here, mass of the bullet, velocity of the bullet squared. Then what happens? The pendulum is pushed up a height h. Energy final is energy kinetic plus energy potential. But at the top height here, how fast is it moving? It's not. So I should emphasize that. So, energy final mass total, gravity, times height. So we have to use potential energy to find kinetic energy, to find a velocity, to find momentum, to find recoil velocity. Lots of work, which is why you're going to see one of these on the test. So this means, just looking at energy here, that our initial energy and our final energy are going to be the same. So that means one half Mass of bullet, velocity of bullet squared, will equal the mass total, gravity times height. So I'm going to do that down here. So more space. So this is one half. The mass of the bullet is 7.5 grams. Now, the total mass, 92.7. Move this over a little bit. A little more space. Point one inch per second squared times the height. Uh, 58.41, 0.5841 meters. Now, I can't do that math in my head, but let's see. Oh, come on. 0 0.5 times 0 0.0075. Kilograms times V squared equals 92.7075 times 
0.81 times 0.5841. Now somebody will go both significant digits adding the mass total together. And they'll point out 92.70 kilograms plus 0 0.0075 kilograms won't really change the number. And that's true. But somebody always screams at me, you have a calculator, so let's just do it anyway. So V squared, that's 531.21 divided by 0 0.00375. So divide that by that. That's, well, 141,000, 650, about 658 meters squared per second squared. So the velocity of the bullet is the square root of that. Square root answer, 376 meters a second. That's a hot, that's a hot bullet. Sweet. Actually, that's a relatively hot bullet, I should say, for a pistol. They're usually they're a lot smaller than that, but I suppose you can have a good magnum, something bottlenecked. Anyway, so that's the velocity of the bullet. Now, we can go back and plug that into the momentum. Because momentum final is mass gun, velocity gun, plus mass bullet, velocity bullet. Now, we know that the initial momentum is zero. So the final momentum is zero. Let me see. The recoil velocity of the gun. Oh crap, I didn't tell you what the, how much the gun weighs. Um, shoot, well let's say 1.6 kilograms. Same as the revolver last time. My apologies. So that's 1.6 kilograms, velocity plus mass of the bullet, uh, 7.5 grams, times 376 meters a second. Times 0 0.0075, 2.822. So, subtract 2.82 from both sides, and running out of space, so minus 2.82 kilogram meters per second equals 1.6 kilograms times V, divide both sides by 1.6 kilograms. Velocity equals Divided by 1.6, 1.761, yeah, 1.76 meters a second. So the recoil velocity of the gun is 1.76 meters a second. Ow, that's a lot of work. But you can see why I like it and why you can expect to see a question on it. So. There is one more example question, but it's just like this. I just changed the numbers. I'm not going to bother doing it. Actually, I will do it. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll do it. And if you want to do it and compare answers, great. If not, go do the homework. All right? So, Bob, shoots. Uh, the velocity of the bullet. Nah, I'm going to... This is just the velocity of the bullet before impact. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So... What's the velocity of the bullet for impact? So, Bob shoots a 2.59 gram bullet striking a 1 kilogram ballistic pendulum, causing it to swing up 5.2 centimeters. What is the velocity of the bullet before the impact? Well, the velocity of the bullet is 19.9 meters a second. We're getting into the pelican of science realm here. Now, I screwed up and I should ask about the momentum, sorry, the velocity of the gun working backwards. So, I'm going to do that as a bonus question. Check. Find the velocity of the gun, and then come back and we'll compare answers. And it's a 1.6 kilogram again. 
I forget. Ah, oh, god damn it. Never mind. 12.6 kilogram gun. Okay, I got the velocity of zero minus 0 0.032 meters a second. Not much moment, not much velocity, but the original pellet is small and not the original bullet is moving is small and moving slowly. All right. That's it for me. If you got any questions, shoot me an email. And yeah, point out that I really should rewrite this and put in the mass of the guns. Anyway, got any questions other than that, shoot me an email. Good luck.